Listen. Two, one, go! Hello everyone, this is Jackson hopping in for commentary, a match between Ninetales and that guy. Uh, looks like things are fairly even at the moment. On the one hand, Rosalina has a slight percent lead, but on the other hand, Luma is dead and gone at the moment. Let's see, Mario... He seems to be getting a decent amount of work off the fast fireballs, but the reward on hit is just so low. It's only like 1 to 2%. Ooh, doesn't quite get Luma all the way out. And, oh, nope, he survives the forward smash. Looked like it was the end of the game. Uh, Ninetales tries to surprise him with the Luma warp and then covers back when it misses with the side B, but ends up not actually catching him just out of range. Forward tilt seems to have surprisingly good power. Or maybe that's just Luma. Oh, uh, nope. That forward smash will not kill either. Uh, partially stale, but the down air will. That game one goes to Ninetales. Our local Rosa Luma. Actually sure where we'll be going. We don't have that many Mario players around here, so I don't know what he's going to ban against him besides Congo, because he hates Congo. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out. FD. Kind of a surprising choice for me, or in my opinion, but I, uh, I feel like Rosalina is pretty good on FD, but I really don't know Mario. Maybe he is as well. Hmm. 
looks like still just footsies at the moment, though Luna seems to be taking a fair amount of damage. Um, the patch actually nerfed her HP by, it was only something like 4%, but it still, it seems to be surprisingly effective. Or, influential, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Ninetales is just kind of sitting back for the most part, zoning, and Mario is just not finding a way in. Oh, but when he gets in, he is... Rosalina has very little as far as a get-off-me move, especially with Lumicon. <laughs> forward air to down smash. Um, that seems to be one of Ninetales' favorite combos. The forward air fastball version seems to set up for so much stuff. And there we go, Luma dies from just lack of HP. That's the white floor sign. Okay. I thought you just hit a <laughs> Nope. It says wet floor on there somewhere. Oh! He went back to try and avoid the up smash, but ended up coming in too close to try and punish and died for it. He was able to kind of return the favor pretty quickly, but... Wow, that up smash has serious range. It's looking like a totally different game right now. Uh, that guy managed to get in, and now Ninetales is kind of forced to approach. Definitely not Rosalina's strong suit. She's not terrible at it, but... <laughs> Kate's the neutral air, but still gets hit by it anyways, thanks to the huge arcing hitbox. Ooh. Bates the air dodge, punishes with a nice up air, and just like that, percents are pretty close once again. Oh, uh, uses the shooting star bits, uh, hit stun, to Luma Warp into an up smash. What? I wonder if that could be used as a kill confirm. Oh! That didn't look like it would kill, but it looks like it just barely did. And with that, we go to game three. Halbert is banned, or that's where we're going. Um, and if not that, then probably TNC or Delfino. Luma's up there has some insane strength. Just like base knockback, it can get uh, crazy early kills like Donkey Kong, down throw, up air, up air. I remember uh, killed at like 30 something percent. Uh, the Buzz versus DK Will a while back. It, it's insane. <laughs> So it looks like we're going to Omega Palutena Assemble. Uh, definitely a fan favorite. A lot of people seem to use it as an alt for Final Destination because of the flash. I mean, it's there. Why not, I guess? is pretty interesting in this matchup because both characters are pretty good at uh, continuing strings and punishing landings especially. And, I mean, FD, there is only one place to land, so you always have a general idea of where to go. Kind of emphasizes both characters' strengths, though I do feel like Rosalina has the stronger landing traps. And, you know, traps in general. It is Rosalina. But, I guess we'll see how it plays out. Luma's down air, catching the punish attempt. And looks like I'm about to be joined by Zeno here. Hello, Zeno here. Um, so how's this match going so far? Oh, it's game three? Things are fairly even? Oh, I... No. 
Okay. Oh, things are very even now. Nobody wins. Yeah, Mario was dead there at first, and Ninetales ran off to dare him. Um, he was still dead, and then screwed up his recovery. Oh, okay. But with that, game three, final stock of uh, the set, and final stock of Swiss. All right. Like, uh, Rosalina has up and down airs just outrange like everything Mario has by a large amount. Isn't Lima Rosalina's kill potential? Yeah, basically. Um, it's that, and then at high percents you can, like, back throw kill, but yeah. it's not even a good kill throw from what I know. Alright. Ooh, baits out the back air with a fastball, but doesn't actually get any sort of punish on it, just kind of avoids the situation. Uh, yeah, it looks like this game's from Nine Tails favor so far. Definitely. Though, um, the way that this match has been going is Nine Tails is pretty good as long as he's keeping him out, but if that guy gets in, he gets some serious damage. Um, Nine Tails does seem to be doing better this game about managing it when that guy does manage to make it in, and he's also been doing really well about keeping him out. Uh, reads the short hop air dodge approach. Up smashes it, and that is game. All right, looks like we will be cutting to top eight next. We're done talking. Indeed, we are.